Radiation is a natural part of life, but in some corners of the world, it reaches levels that pose serious risks to human health and the environment. Whether caused by nuclear accidents, weapons testing, or natural uranium deposits, these sites continue to emit dangerous levels of radiation long after their initial contamination. Today, we're taking a closer look into the top 10 most radioactive places on Earth. From well-known disasters like Chernobyl to hidden hazards few people have heard of. This list highlights locations that serve as powerful reminders of our relationship with nuclear energy and the lasting impact it can have. 1. Chernobyl, Ukraine On April 26, 1986, a late-night safety test at reactor number. Four of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant went catastrophically wrong. A combination of design flaws and operator error triggered a steam explosion that blew the reactor apart and released an immense amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The nearby city of Pripyat, home to over 40,000 residents, was evacuated within 36 hours, too late for many who had already absorbed high doses of radiation. The explosion released radioactive isotopes including iodine-131, cesium-137, and strontium-90, which contaminated not only northern Ukraine, but also parts of Belarus, Russia, and Western Europe. In the immediate aftermath, 28 workers and firefighters died from acute radiation sickness, and thousands more developed long-term health problems such as thyroid cancer and leukemia. Chernobyl's exclusion zone, spanning roughly 1,000 square miles, remains one of the most radioactive areas on the planet. The infamous Red Forest, located directly downwind of the reactor, absorbed so much radiation that its pine trees died within days and turned a rust-red color. Despite this, the zone has become a grim tourist attraction, and nature has slowly reclaimed the land. Some animal populations have flourished in the absence of humans, though researchers debate how radiation has affected their genetics. In 2016, a massive steel sarcophagus known as the New Safe Confinement was placed over the original crumbling structure to limit the continued release of radioactive dust. Though decades have passed, Chernobyl stands as a chilling reminder of nuclear energy's potential risks and the long shadows cast by human error. 2. Fukushima, Japan On March 11, 2011, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake struck off the northeastern coast of Japan, triggering a massive tsunami that overwhelmed the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The wave disabled the plant's cooling systems, leading to the meltdown of three nuclear reactors. While the explosions at Fukushima weren't as violent as Chernobyl's, the contamination was still serious, both in terms of land and marine environments. Radiation from cesium-137 and other isotopes spread into the air and Pacific Ocean. More than 150,000 people were evacuated from surrounding areas, many of whom were never able to return to their homes. Villages like Okuma and Futaba became ghost towns with high radiation levels making daily life impossible. Large amounts of contaminated water were used to cool the reactors, much of which is still stored on site in large tanks, posing future challenges. The cleanup operation is one of the most complex ever attempted. It involves removing spent fuel, managing radioactive waste, and decontaminating thousands of acres. Japan has invested billions into this effort, and while progress has been made, full decommissioning is expected to take decades. The disaster also reshaped global energy policy, with countries like Germany accelerating their move away from nuclear power. Today, parts of Fukushima Prefecture have reopened, with radiation levels deemed low enough for limited resettlement. But the region carries a deep social and environmental scar. Food grown in the area is rigorously tested and groundwater monitoring continues. Fukushima has become a case study in crisis response, the limits of technology, and the complex legacy of nuclear energy. 3. The Polygon Semipalatinsk Test Site, Kazakhstan In the remote steppes of northeastern Kazakhstan lies one of the most radioactive places you've likely never heard of. 
the Polygon, officially known as the Semipalatinsk Test Site. From 1949 to 1989, the Soviet Union carried out over 450 nuclear tests here, both above and below ground. At the time, secrecy and speed took priority over safety. Many of the tests were done without evacuating nearby villages, subjecting civilians to radiation without warning or protection. The effects have been devastating. Entire generations have suffered from elevated rates of cancer, birth defects, infertility, and other chronic illnesses. Many residents of the surrounding areas report family members who died young or developed mysterious ailments. The radiation exposure wasn't limited to blast zones. Wind carried fallout hundreds of miles across Kazakhstan and even into parts of Russia and China. Though nuclear testing officially ended at the site in 1989, the long-term consequences are still visible. The land is scarred with craters and contaminated soil, and some areas remain highly radioactive. Cleanup has been sporadic, though international cooperation has helped secure some of the most dangerous materials. In recent years, scientists have returned to study the long-term effects of radiation exposure on both the environment and public health. Today, parts of the polygon are used for research, but large swathes remain off-limits. Unlike Chernobyl or Fukushima, this site lacks the same level of global attention despite its profound human cost. It stands as a stark example of how geopolitical ambition can leave behind environmental and generational ruin. 4. Mylusu, Kyrgyzstan during the Soviet era, Mylusu was a key site for uranium mining. The town held more than 20 radioactive waste dumps and tailing ponds, many of which were poorly secured. When mining operations ended, the radioactive material was left behind, contaminating the soil and local water sources. The area is surrounded by steep hills, and landslides have already sent radioactive waste into rivers that provide water to thousands of people downstream. Mylusu remains one of the most dangerous radioactive locations in Central Asia. International aid projects have helped to stabilize some of the waste sites, but risks persist. Many locals have suffered from cancer and birth defects, and the long-term health effects are still being studied. Femta Hanford Site, Washington, USA the Hanford site was part of the Manhattan Project during World War II and later became one of the largest nuclear production complexes in the United States. It produced plutonium for the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Over decades of operation, Hanford generated massive amounts of nuclear waste, much of which was stored in underground tanks that have since leaked. Today, Hanford is one of the most contaminated places in the Western Hemisphere. Cleanup efforts have been ongoing since the 1980s and are expected to continue for decades. Radiation hotspots remain, and groundwater contamination has been a serious concern. Although restricted to workers and not open to the public, the site represents one of the most expensive and long-term environmental challenges in U.S. history. 6. Goiania, Brazil Unlike other entries on this list, Goiania's radioactive contamination was not caused by war or reactor failure. In 1987, two scrap metal scavengers in the city of Goiania found an abandoned medical device containing cesium-137. Curious about the glowing blue powder inside, they took it home. Within days, the radioactive substance had spread through homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The result was one of the worst radiation accidents in history. Four people died, and over 200 others were exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. Entire city blocks had to be demolished and buried. Although the city is safe today, the incident exposed how radioactive materials can cause disaster even outside traditional nuclear setting. 7. Sellafield, United Kingdom Located on the coast of Cumbria, England, Sellafield began as a site for producing plutonium during the Cold War. Over the years, it evolved into one of the largest nuclear reprocessing facilities in the world. It has also been the center of numerous safety concerns and environmental incidents with leaks and storage issues adding to its notoriety. 
Sellafield has released significant amounts of radioactive waste into the Irish Sea, making it one of the most contaminated marine environments on the planet. Radiation levels at the facility itself remain high in several areas, and parts of the site are off-limits due to ongoing decommissioning work. Cleanup and deconstruction are expected to continue well into the 22nd century, costing billions of pounds. 8. Mayak, Russia The Mayak Production Association was a major Soviet nuclear weapons production facility located near the town of Chelyabinsk. In 1957, it was the site of the Kishtim disaster, an explosion in a radioactive waste storage tank that released a massive radioactive cloud over the region. The Soviet government kept the incident secret for decades, even as thousands were exposed. The nearby Tekka River became heavily contaminated after decades of waste dumping, affecting thousands of residents along its banks. Some villages had to be abandoned, and others still show signs of severe environmental damage. Despite its toxic legacy, parts of Mayak continue to operate today, though under tighter regulation. The area around the site remains among the most polluted in the world. 9. Siberian Chemical Combine, Russia Located in Seversk, a closed city in western Siberia, the Siberian Chemical Combine was a key part of the Soviet Union's nuclear weapons program. It housed uranium enrichment and plutonium production facilities. Large volumes of radioactive waste were produced and often stored with minimal protection or oversight. Over the decades, accidents and chronic leaks contaminated local soil and groundwater. Due to its status as a restricted military zone, information about the site was scarce for many years. Even today, outside researchers have limited access. What is known paints a troubling picture. Radiation levels remain high in some locations, and long-term health effects on workers and residents continue to raise concern. Jishonta Ramsar, Iran Unlike most locations on this list, Ramsar's radiation is naturally occurring. Located on the Caspian Sea coast, this area has some of the highest levels of background radiation ever recorded in a residential setting. The source is radium-rich hot springs and rock deposits that leach radiation into the environment. Some homes are built with materials made from these radioactive stones, further increasing exposure. In certain neighborhoods, annual radiation doses are many times higher than the global average. Surprisingly, residents have shown no clear increase in cancer or genetic issues, though studies are still ongoing. Ramsar has become a unique site for scientific research, offering rare insights into how long-term exposure to natural radiation affects human health. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these seems the most scary? Let us know in the comments section below.